welcome back and thanks for you watching the show. You can watch many other things on television or on YouTube or wherever you want to. And you spend a little bit of time with me. Thank you so much for all the years of the support. Um, without you guys, this program will not be possible. Well, let's have a look. Royal Dutch Shell, Karen is asking about Royal Dutch Shell and she wants to know if she can still buy the stock. Now, Karen, let's have a look here. I just want to draw a line in there. There's a beautiful resistance line right at the top. Looks like the share is struggling to find its way above that line. And there's another support line. And I mean, oil is running like you can't believe. And the world is just saying that oil is going to go up and up and up. And may I hear levels of 150 and 170? Maybe that's true. And Royal Dutch Shell, in this case, is doing beautifully. What we see is every time that it reaches the resistance line, we find some sellers. So we're right at the top there. We were moved a little bit outside of it at 60. Five, oh, now we're at 60.02 and um, for me remember this is a daily chart for me it's quite simple if we move back and we break below this line 56.12 and then many of you will say Franz but look what happened every time that it gets there there's some buyers they just come in and buy the stock so there's nothing for them to hold them back but for me I just say and I've learned many years ago from a friend of mine that dabbled with uh, the indicators and the charts for so long. He said, France, always keep in mind, when a share bounces off a support line, one, two, three, four, five times, they that it doesn't bounce off that support line, you've got trouble, the share can go down. So this is a rising wedge, Karen. For me, yes, it still looks okay. The day that it breaks below that 55, 80 level, we can maybe see it plays out, and there you are, it can maybe go to 51, 28 goes there so for me unfortunately it's not in a buying area for me i'm a little bit nervous a rising wedge usually is what we call a reversal pattern that warns you to say that the share can maybe can can, can come under pressure so and why we're on royal dutch shell let's look at ben cruise because you asked about it but look at this rally i mean this is a daily chart and in the last couple of days, I just want to show everyone, I mean, oil just spiked up. Um, I know that the, the leaders of the European Union, they decided that they're not going to buy oil again from Russia, um, part of the sanction deal. If I look at this chart, this is what we call a beautiful bullish chart. I mean, there's a low, there's a higher low, another higher low, another higher low, another higher low. And I mean, look at this resistance. There was some strong resistance around this level. There was the level. That level was $116. We are now on 123. So it's ticking higher. So where's my targets? My target will be, I'm going to use that top there. Oh, we're right at the top there. We close there. And then if it needs to go a little bit higher, it can go to that. That is not good news for South Africa because our rand is struggling a little bit. But we've reached a very important level here. If it breaks above this level of 123.94, we can see easily the next move all the way up to that level of 135. A while back it was 135.84. I really hope we're not going there because then we're going to see maybe a spike of some of 4 rand in the, in the petrol price. Let's see, no reversal candle yet. For me, it is positive. The momentum is up. I know it is overbought on the on the stochastic, on the RSI. But remember, we've got a different situation here. Here we've got a situation where the world is struggling with energy resources across the board, from coal, from oil, gas. Everything is under pressure, and it's a supply demand. So everybody is 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 looking for for product they cannot find it they always bought it from russia so this is what we call a different situation so for me personally i will wait for this type of formation maybe a triple top that will maybe uh, trigger my eye to say listen i don't need to buy but at this point in time it is just higher lows it's momentum to the top there's no reversal candle yet so for me I will not buy it because look what my stop loss will be this support line $116. So 
I mean, it can easily break above 122 and make things nasty for the world. I got a very interesting mail from Johnny. And Johnny said to me, Franz, I'm investing in the markets for many years, but I found a share that whenever I've got money, <laughs> he says he hasn't got money always, but whenever he's got money, he just waits for the share to pull back and then he just come in and he buys the share. Now, this share is Berkshire Hathaway, the A-class share. And if you look at the chart, and I first of all want to make it a normal line chart, and I want to make it a weekly chart. Um, I just want to show you here, then you can see, there you are. Um, this is a weekly chart of the stock. And if you look at Johnny's idea, there's nothing wrong with that. And look what happens here. I'm going to go back. I'm now in 2014. Let's make it a monthly chart. Let's just show you. There you are. This is a monthly chart of Berkshire Hathaway. And he just said to me, listen, France, if I look at this chart, there's only one thing that you need to do is whenever you've got a little bit of spare cash, buy the chart when it's under pressure. Now, I don't know since when he's doing that. But maybe he started in 2010, all right? Remember, this share is expensive. It's a $72,000 share then. Now it is $478,000 a share. But I'm sure you can buy it in fraction. You don't need to buy 10 or 100 or 50 or 6,000 shares at a time. You can buy it in tiny lots. And the reason why I say that you can do it, remember, this, is, this fund is run by Mr. Warren Buffett and Mr. Munger for many years. And they buy value. So they're not interested in the market going up or down. They're looking for a share. They say, yes, it is, it's offering me some value. And yes, I can buy it. Now, let's just look at the momentum or the trend of this share. There you are. There's the trend. Okay. First of all, all the technicians will say to me, yes, Franz, there's the long-term support line that's sitting at $300,000. And we are trading now at $478,000. But if you look at this, it just tells you that you don't need to buy now. You need to wait a, maybe a little bit. But when you've got some spare cash, imagine you bought at 2008. And you're just accumulating all the way. You're just carrying on. You don't do fancy things. You just buy whenever you've got money. The return is a fantastic return. And what does that tell us? That tells us that if you've got a good value play, and I can mention quite a few in the local market that can offer you some great value and great investment opportunities. I mean, if you want to have an international play, Berkshire Hathaway, nothing wrong with that. Johnny, thank you so much for sending that through for us so we can all learn. And that's exactly that. The part of this program is also to learn and to share. Abel or Abel asked about Heister Gale materials handling. Now, remember Heister, we know it's all these beautiful forklifts that they make and they make some power tools. Can you look at this share on this chart and you will see we're on a weekly chart here. In May 2020, we were around these levels, and that was at $33. It went up from there to 21, 2021 to $100. So, Abel, thank you very much. If you look at it, it looks like it's a turnaround here. Yes, some guys will say maybe we're working on a massive head and shoulder pattern here, but I want to say... If it, we can buy it on the 2020 level, for me, that's important. And I want to show you this little line here. Look at that. First of all, this line was a support. It came back all the way. It bounced off this. It rallied a little bit and it came back. It fell below that. It gave us a good buy kiss. It stayed there for a couple of weeks. And now it's lifting its head and it's at $35.92. For me, this chart looks quite solid. Reason being, after such a sell-off, we see a beautiful consolidation on, in the making here. And I will say that if you want to nibble, maybe you can nibble here. Because 
is a few shares that, has, that is at the same levels as in 2020. And for me, if it comes back all the way down there, yes, it will probably not run all the way back to $100, but maybe it can give you a nice solid move there. So for me, buy it above 35 or let's make it $36, make use of a stop loss of $30.50, and where's your target? Your targets will be $41.57, for 45 and maybe you're just lucky it can go all the way back to 100 in years to come maybe weeks to come we never know rashid is asking about hoskin and he wants to buy it but uh, rashid if you i don't know if you're new to the program but if you're new to the program you will immediately say france you will not buy this share and the reason why i will not buy this share i mean for other guys that bought it at fantastic returns i mean um, it, it went from 2022 from 71 rand to 174 rand. I mean, this is a great value play. I'm sure some analysts maybe pick it up around here. Um, and I did miss it. I didn't pick it up. Um, above 84 rand 99. Let's make it 85 rand. This share really took off. Why? Beautiful consolidation. Nice tight stop loss of 71.46. And it's flying. And look at this. Unfortunately, an ugly um, ankle formation. So for me, I will not buy it and I will be nervous below this line. I'm almost out of time. That's why I'm rushing it a bit. Um, below this line of 165.75, we can maybe see some selling here. And only above 180.95, we can see a move to the top. Well, thank you. Thank you for watching the show. Enjoy the rest of your week and um, keep yourself warm. All the best and we'll chat again.